have a uh, a story from Nick Clark, and this is about Sam Marish, the former Champlin Park athlete. Uh, and uh, Nick, would you tell us uh, what's new with Sam? It's an extremely happy uh, note to pass along. Um, the day after Christmas, December 26th, will be six months to the day that Sam had open heart surgery uh, to uh, replace what was the aortic valve in uh, inside his heart. And uh, Monday, December 17th, uh, he was cleared to uh, resume football activities and, and, and get back on the field and, and start doing uh, wow. what he loved. Yeah, it's, it, it, I mean, it really is an amazing story. Um, he, uh, of course, was, a, was an absolute standout at Champlain Park. Um, Probably the best high school football player I've seen play since uh, James Laurinaitis, who, you know, coincidentally, you know, the same week Sam was cleared to play, was, you know, honored with the uh, with his third All American, uh, you know, honor uh, at Ohio State University. Uh, Sam's going to be a Big Ten player at the University of Minnesota, and I had a chance to talk to him, and and uh, you could tell even over the phone that he was just floating. Um, when I caught him, he was at the Gopher football practice. Um, Coincidentally, and uh, they're getting ready to play Kansas in the Insight Bowl, and uh, he he was he was psyched to be there. He was psyched to know that uh, when the when they start spring practice in March, that he'll have the pads on, and he's even more psyched to know that uh, come next September, when they open that beautiful new stadium down at the university, uh, he's going to be wearing uh, a uniform and, and leading the team out there instead of doing it in in, in the warm up suit. Um, it's remarkable. The, the thing I kept thinking um, back to uh, when I was talking to him and after I heard this news is at his press conference when, when we found out that he was going to need the surgery uh, to replace the valve, uh, the university doctor who was at the conference said, um, you know, kind of hinted that this isn't any normal uh, person going under the knife. Uh, to use his exact words, you know, he was a health specimen. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and if you've ever seen Sam in person, it, it's easy to see why. I mean, he's he's about as chiseled as they come, and he, he he's ex takes extremely good care of his body. Um, and here we are six months later, and he's recovering uh, from open-heart surgery to play a Division One college football. I mean, it, it's, it's really hard to put into words. It's hard to think about it and not just think that it's not amazing because, uh, you know, any one of us goes under the knife like that and, and – I was, you know, saying to a colleague earlier, I don't know if I'd be out of bed yet, you know, and here he is, <laughs> you know, back. I know he was down. The big concern was, you know, building up the strength in his sternum and in his bone, uh, and he he lost. He was His playing weight was 240 his last year of high school. He was down to about 215, 220 um, in the weeks after the surgery. Uh, I know he's back up to 250 now. He's really been working hard to get his, keep his weight up, to keep his energy up, and, uh, you know, his body's responded well, and, you know, and the it be neat to see him play next year. It's, it's, it's about as feel-good story as you can get. And this is a big story because I think coming out of high school, Marish was probably the number one recruit yeah. for the Gophers that year. Yeah, it was a real – it was Tim Brewster's first real full recruiting class, and after uh, the news about Marish came out, um, it, it was a real blow. You know, he was he was a four-star recruit. Uh, he had offers from Michigan. Uh to start with, and then a number of other, you know, big-time colleges were, have been were in contact with him and want him to come play. Um, you know, I remember the story his dad telling me after he uh, after he committed to the U and he went down and he went on his visit uh, and uh, met with Coach Brewster. It was right after Coach Brewster was brought in. They got halfway home and Sam said, "Dad, turn the car around," and they did. Sam went right back into Coach Brewster's office, shook his hand, and said, "I'm coming." And, uh, and it was a big decision for him, and it, and it was a decision that he made uh, in part, and he said this, that he wanted to be the start of what was a string of Minnesota kids staying home and playing for the Gophers. It was really important to both him and his family that he did this. And when he went down, it, it, you know, it was a major blow, not only for the recruiting class because of how good of a football player he was, but just for the thought that, you know, everybody's waiting to see this kid play for the Gophers and take the field. And, you know, it looked like, you know, it had to cross everybody's mind that they thought this was never going to happen. And, you know, lo and behold, you know, six months later, after having heart surgery, here he is, he's going to be playing. So it's, you got to feel good for the kid. Well, that's uh, a great story, Nick. Thank you very much for sharing that with us. <laughs>